Oh. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, everyone. Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd. I hope you're doing well. In this video, I would like to talk about one of the most new, exciting, refreshing, and uh, beloved music groups to come out as of late, 100 Gex, and how there is this perception that they are deeply influenced by and owe quite a bit to the work of one of the most hated music acts of all time, Broken Side. Yes, the legendary crunk core outfit, Broken Side. Now, this has been discussed by many people at length over social media. There's even a little Vice article recently that went into the parallels between both of the artists, though I don't blame the popularity of this point on that article being posted because, again, it predates the article itself. But I guess I would like to explore where exactly this comparison, where this idea comes from, and just how surface level of a comparison it really is and how silly an assumption it is that there is an overt or a clear link between these two artists. Now, keep in mind, I am old. My ass is old as fuck right now. I was alive and also coming of age around that time when you had a lot of these MySpace crunk core groups around. I mean, MySpace was literally one of the best places on the internet to upload your music. I mean, it was amazing. If you wanted to find out about some local shows, hear some underground shit, hear some stuff that's like a little left field, off the beaten path, maybe even groundbreaking and, and youthful, new, cutting edge, you would go to my space. There was no Spotify, there was no Apple Music, there was no SoundCloud. If a genre was really hitting with the youth, you could find it living in some way, shape, or form on the MySpace website. But there were some artists and scenes and sounds and trends that were kind of born out of the culture on this website. And Broken Side and Crunk Core in general is definitely one of those things. And while Broken Side, other scene core bands around that time, as well as groups that were coming up uh, with a similar fan base such as Millionaires, while they did have a cultural moment, stylistically and sonically, I'm really failing to see the connection uh, between the sounds that were being generated during this time that I very much remember and 100 Gex. Many of the stylistic comparisons that I see between the two uh, start and end with the genres that seem to inform them the most, and then the fact that they feature also somewhat annoying vocals that are often auto-tuned, which for me is pretty flimsy stuff to base such a strong comparison on. Like you could say both artists are influenced by uh, rock music, by electronic music, by hip hop, but that's completely ignoring the fact that each artist has a totally different artistic ethos and that they're influenced by totally different strains of each of those genres, which is why things like details, nuance, and subgenres are important to make note of. I mean, this is as silly as saying a group like City Morgue is heavily influenced by Limp Biscuit because both artists listen to uh, rap and metal, so there are just huge influential parallels between the two. You could say Limp Bizkit paved the way for City Morgue. Like, obviously in the case of Broken Side, the influences that they showcased were much more localized and narrow. You had Screamo and Metalcore going into their music. You had very popular, very mainstream, very commercial strains of electronic dance music and hip hop going into their stuff too, and assembled in a way that was not subversive at all, not experimental, even in the slightest. Did they have instrumentals that were intricate and well-produced? Did they have songs that were multi-phased and thoughtful and substantive and meaningful? No, absolutely not. Look at their old songs, records, and music videos. There doesn't even really seem to be a, a hint of of self-awareness to a lot of what they're doing. Not that there needed to be because they were playing to their audience and fuck the haters at the end of the day, but by comparison, Gex is so much more out there and genuinely subversive, and I think that's displayed when you get into the specifics of their songs and try to make direct comparisons. Think of a track like I Need Help Immediately, for example. Think of one single Broken Side song that sounds like that. What Broken Side song sounds like the weirdo, zany, ska, electronic, rock mash of stupid horse? The answer is none. 
The answer is no song. We're just making these silly surface level comparisons of one to the other because they both seem like they're wild and eccentric and controversial and auto-tuned and, oh, there's pop and electronic and hip-hop and rock coming together and some people think it's kind of annoying. Beyond that, the comparisons aren't really there. And it's not that I'm saying you can't compare Gex to anything or anybody or that they don't have actual influences. They certainly do. I don't think they're quite that unique. For example, how is a duo like Sleigh Bells not a precursor to 100 Gex? They certainly are. Um, Death Grips, PC Music, and the myriad of genres that pop up in just a really abrasive and disorienting way almost at random through many of their tracks, whether that be ska or dubstep or just a touch of metalcore, which, mind you, is a style that exists outside of the crunk core ring. I just don't see the genuine similarities or the sincere ways in which I could draw parallels between the two outside of, again, a very surface level way where they're each working uh, with these baseline popular music genres. Oh, it's got some rock and electronic and hip hop. Outside of that, I, I think uh, there's not really a whole lot to uh, draw between 100 Gex and Broken Side please spare me and spare yourselves too. spare yourselves from making uh, that comment as, as well. Those are my thoughts. Uh, make sure to leave yours down in the comments too. You're the best. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, 100 Gex, the forever.